our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. Mr. Wonderful, the former champion, looking for his 20th career victory. And we always talk, John, about that 79 inch reach. That's a long reach, 79 inches is out there. And that's a big difference. We know that, that four inches can make a difference in this fight. He's gonna look to keep Nemkov on the outside and avoid those vicious leg kicks. Here's Michael C. Williams. Here at Menorah Miftahim Arena, Bellator MMA on Paramount Network moves now to the light heavyweight division set for three five minute rounds. Introducing the blue corner. At six foot, weighing in 204.5 pounds. His professional record, nine wins, two losses, fighting out of Storyosko, Russia, presenting Vadim Nemko. Across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner. At six foot two, weighing in 206 pounds even, the former Bellator Light Heavyweight World Champion stands tonight with 19 professional victories, four defeats. Fighting out of San Diego, California, by way of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, USA. Introducing Phil, Mr. Wonderful. In charge of the action, Leon Roberts. Leon Roberts, our referee, as the former champion faces the very dangerous Russian, the member of Team Fedor, Phil Davis, Vadim Nemkov. Here we go! Mr. Wonderful in the red gloves, Nemkov in the blue gloves. We talk about the leg kicks of Nemkov. Phil Davis has some pretty heavy ones as well. You take a look at Phil Davis's legs. Yeah, you could call him heavy, and he's able to strike with them very well. But he cannot take a lot of leg kicks from Nemkov and then expect to be explosive like he normally is. Wrestling equals perseverance, Phil has said many times. So does combat sambo, though. <laughs> you know what? Both. You look at wrestling, and what you learn out of wrestling is that you know, hard work puts you somewhere. You learn about a grind, and you learn you don't quit. You do the same thing in Sambo. It's the same type of element. It just takes parts of submission games and the wrestling and puts them together. This is a fight where both of these guys are so explosive. The one big difference, that's a nice big overhand right by Phil. The one big difference is that athleticism in Phil Davis. Yeah. He is unusual in what he can do, and sometimes he can just pull stuff off and you go, how did he do that? And the frame of Phil Davis and the ability to utilize that 79-inch reach has led to many of those 19 career victories. He's been at Alliance MMA under Eric Del Fiori for a long time. Eric Del Fiero does a great job with so many great fighters. He spent a lot of time training with this one with uh, Brandon Vera. And I'll tell you, Phil Davis, he blossomed when he was in Alliance. He, yes. was, he was good, you know, coming out, you know, out of Penn State and wrestling, and you know, you're, you're, you're getting a diamond in the rough. But, man, he has just blossomed as far as the way he attacks fights. You know, the difference is we're, we're talking about Nemkov against McGeary and all those leg kicks. Well, Phil Davis isn't going to be in front of Nemkov just standing still all the time. He's going to give him different looks to try to slow down those leg kicks. The one thing he's got to really deal, deal with is Nemkov is fast. He doesn't look in the beginning, but all of a sudden he's catching more stuff. His hands are fast. His feet are fast. You've got to always be aware. Vadim talked about speed being the key to his success in this fight. First of three five-minute rounds. Red gloves for Davis, blue gloves for Nemkov. Nine professional wins. Eight by knockout, the other by submission. Going for an anaconda choke right there. Don't know if he's going to be able to get it, but if he starts to roll, you're going to see him start to roll towards his right side. Still doing a good job taking his arm, bringing it over, holding and taking that position out. Just took the anaconda choke all, just took it away. And they are back up. Phil Davis has never been stopped. All four losses by decision, two unanimous, two split decision losses. 
to Ryan Bader. And the one thing you just saw, you saw Phil going down. You saw Demkov getting him to the mat, but people just don't keep Phil Davis down on the ground when he wants to get up. That's what his wrestling, and that's what all of that knowledge that he brought from the NC2A, Division I, Penn State, Nittany Lions, you know, the champs. He took all of that, and then when he wants to get up, you don't, you don't hold him down. Friday, November 30th, Bellator returns to the Windstar World Casino and Resort as John Salter and Chidi Njikwani face off in a pivotal middleweight showdown. Then the following day, Saturday, December 1st, Bellator emanates from Genoa as Italian superstar Alessio Sicara takes on Kent Kapanen. Israel, now Italy for you and I, Big John, up next. In a couple. And then Hawaii. It's all good. How good is that? Heavy kick. That's, Final minute of round one. And that's the one thing I don't think you should ever see Phil doing is when he's just accepting the kick. He's not setting it up. He's not making him pay. He's not blocking. You can't do that very many times with a heavy kicker like Nimcom. Common opponent in Liam McGeary. Davis defeated him by unanimous decision back in 2016, as I mentioned, to become the light heavyweight champion. And leg kicks finished Liam McGeary when Vadim Nemkov last fought. And that was at Mohegan, and that was an outstanding performance. Yep. Final seconds of the round. Mr. Wonderful cranking on his opponent's neck. Eric Del Fierro striking with Adrian Melendez, Neil Melanson, spent some time with Phil. Preparing for this man, nine and two, 26-year-old Vadim Nemkov of Team Fedor. He's from the same hometown, training partner of Fedor, younger brother of former M1 Global Light Heavyweight Champion, Victor Nemkov. Phil right now is looking at Leon Roberts going, what are you talking about? I sweat. <laughs> it's just part <laughs> of the game. Kind of working hard out here, Leon. Yeah, just a little. Round two. Round one on your scorecard. Round one on my scorecard. I'm going to give to Vadim Nemkov. There was a couple of instances in there, but the heavier shots overall, I thought were landed by Vadim. It's a close round. It could definitely go the other way. Eight of his nine wins by knockout. Phil is well aware of that. Davis wants to put himself back in that prime position for another shot at Bellator Gold. He actually said, I'll fight Bader at light heavyweight or heavyweight if indeed Ryan gets past Fedor. He goes, I don't care. And that right there, what you just saw, that was the difference in the first round, in my opinion. The leg kicks yep. are starting to add up. And when you look at it, you've got to give credit to those leg kicks because trust me, they hurt and they cause damage in the fight. That's what Phil right now has got to deal with. And stop allowing the leg kicks to land without a response. Just one of 11 career fights has gone the distance for Vadim Nemkov. And in that fight that went the distance, you repped it, John, and he dominated a much bigger opponent. He did it. It was a 10-minute round. And he had already fought once that night, and he gets back into the cage. He goes 10 minutes of absolutely annihilating his opponent, but he burned every bit of gas out of him. He couldn't get up at the end of the round, and that was the end of the fight. That shot lands. Began training Sambo at age seven. I truly believe in watching Phil Davis, he's, he's changed, he's turned a corner as a fighter in that he has fallen in love with the stand-up game yeah, yeah. and doesn't utilize the wrestling that he is so good at at times when there is the opportunity. He can close the distance. All he has to do is change that level or at least give the appearance that I'm thinking about taking you down because it's going to make your opponent have to then start to deal with, oh, I don't want him to take me down, and I'm going to start to defend against it. Maybe that will slow Nemkov down. 
Phil starting to show some level changes. Yep. Big John, and I, w I was just going to say this one, a stand up fight so far. Phil coming off that head kick finish. But, you know, your bread and butter is still what your bread and butter is. And that's wrestling 101. It is. And you want to talk about a great last double, <laughs> Phil Davis is one of the best of all time. Dude, I wish I could wrestle like Phil Davis. That, I mean, he's so good at it, but when you start, you start to fall in love with the stand-up, which happens to almost all guys because it's cool. Especially it's explosive. Wrestlers. Yeah. You know, they didn't, they didn't get to strike in their sport, and then it's like, oh, God, man, I, I like knocking guys out. Well, you're going to be more effective in knocking guys out if they're also worried about you taking them down. You can watch guys like Juan Archuleta. Look at what he's doing as, as far as setting things up and making someone think that a takedown's coming and a big looping overhand right comes, and he's knocking people down. That's how you utilize wrestling in your striking game, too. Four-time All-American, 2008 national champion. 20 and one in his senior year at Penn State. And as we get later in this second round, a well-timed takedown would serve Mr. Wonderful very well. It would. You know, Nemkov went for a takedown there in the first round, and I'm like, that's not, I'm thinking to myself, that's not gonna happen. But Phil can definitely take Nemkov down if given the right circumstances and he changed levels and he blasts into him, he can do it. And he might want to think about putting him there because he's good with submissions. He's good on the ground. He's got a great ground and pound. Don't just fall in love with, oh, I'm standing up and throwing shots. I think I'm doing better. You don't know when you're inside that cage. Both men throwing some heavy, long uppercuts that are just missing. Phil Davis took Clover Teixeira down nine times. That was at a time that Glover had worked on his wrestling. He was like, he's not going to take me down. That's how good <laughs> Phil Davis is. That long reach, those arms inside, that can make a difference in getting his arms around Nemkov's body just like that. You can get in there, start to utilize those nice little throws. Ah, good job by Nemkov to come around with a big elbow. Oh! He can take it he down. He can take it down, but he got right back up. That's the Phil Davis I know. But that man. was a little Sambo 101. Good way to finish the round for the 26-year-old yep. Russian Vadim Nemkov. Third and final round, five minutes remain. Did Nemkov get round two in your book? I do think he got round two. Yeah, you know, I could say like Phil might have gotten round one on some of the judges' scorecards, so it might be even. But right now, I have him down, and I think he needs to start to think about taking Nemkov off of his feet and doing some damage. Two split decision losses to Bader, and the two unanimous decision losses to Rashad Evans and our good buddy Rumble. Anthony Rumble Johnson, not that Rashad is our good buddy as well. <laughs> Let's see if Phil goes to his wrestling. That late takedown, that toss by Nemkov certainly looks very good to the judges. Anything that happens late, that's a positive. Leaves an impression on the judges. It does. When you're at the end of the round and you see that suplex, it's like, ooh, just like what we did. Yep. And you know, it kind of sticks with you, and that can take around. That type of throw is going to count no matter that he just got back up or not because there's an impact. It's, it's an amplitude is what we call it. There's elevation and there's impact. And trust me, hitting the ground is not a comfortable thing when you're being tossed from six feet up. Good storyline with this matchup. The former light heavyweight champion defeated by Ryan Bader, taking on a Team Fedor rapidly rising star in Vadim Nemkov. Of course, in January, it's the finals, January 26th, from the Forum in Inglewood, California. Ryan Bader and Fedor Emelianenko, who will be the new Bellator heavyweight champion. I don't know, but I'll tell you what, either way, I love the winner. Amen. If, if Fedor ends up winning it, man, that's beautiful. If Bader ends up winning it, it's beautiful because he's a two-division champion. And I want to know, do they let him keep the belts and fight in both divisions? Or does he want to? Does he ever want to cut weight again? Exactly. <laughs> I like anyway. 
This punch is just missing. You see Nemkov just taking a little movement out, just sliding by. Phil's trying to put a lot of power on those shots when he's throwing them. Past the midway point of this third and final round, a fight in which Phil Davis could very well be behind on the scorecards. Phil is six and one inside the Bellator cage. Yeah, his only loss is in that championship title fight to Ryan Bader, and that was a close, close fight. Great we'll takedown defense, the better beautiful this job of taking Phil the Davis. A nice job is going right into side control. That's what we're talking about. That's why I'm saying Phil Davis on the ground, he's a beast. Use it if you're so good there. Look at him taking his knee, bringing him up. He's taking that to break that grip. He's got the arm trapped right now. He can do a lot of damage. Phil Davis down here is trouble. He's got some very creative he does. submission Right ability. now, he's going after that Kimura. He's got a good chance of making that happen. Looking for a finish. And look at that, Nemkov slides out the back. That's what Nemkov, being a three-time Sambo world champion, he's used to those submissions. It just works his way out. But I'll tell you what, at least Davis put him there, had a chance at it, didn't get it. But you know what? That's hopefully showing Phil, I think I need to put it right back down. And Phil has finished with that Kimura before, had the modified Kimura against Tim Boach. Yep. Yeah, he took, he took Tim Boach's arm and put it into a different state. That was ugly. Again, going for that Kimura, and he's good at it. He has the ability right here. He might want to think of taking his left leg and starting to control the head of Nemkov. If he can control the head with his leg, he can create an incredible amount of pressure on that shoulder. 35 seconds on the clock. That's why you're seeing Nemkov with his right arm blocking that leg from coming over. He knows, I do not want that leg here. You want to work at this straight arm lock, go ahead, but I'm going to make sure that you can't separate my head from my arm. 20 seconds. Twisting, cranking, looking for the finish. 10 seconds remain in this fight. He's not going to get that submission, but he definitely took the round with taking the fight to the ground yep. and putting Nemkov in serious bad positions. Going to be an interesting one. Will it be Phil Davis or Vadim Nemkov, who gets their arm raised here in the Holy Land, the Eternal City? The official decision is coming up next. Vadim Nemkov and Phil Davis go the distance. The judges have rendered their decision. Michael C. Williams to tell us who has won this fight. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance, we'll go to your three judges at cage side. Your first judge, Brian Miter, scores the fight 29 to 28. He sees the fight for Davis. Your second judge, David Torelli, scores the fight 29 to 28. He sees the fight for Nemkov. Your third and final, judge at cage side, Sal D'Amato, scores the fight 29 to 28 for the winner by split decision, Vadim Nemkov. Nemkov with the biggest victory of his mixed martial arts career. Split decision win over the former light heavyweight champion, Phil Davis. Congratulations, Vadim Nemkov, 3-0 inside the Bellator cage.